Yeah, it's recording. Okay. Welcome back to the Let's continue. I break some of the game because we have to do puzzles. Attention all co-workers, please listen to this chirper and leave it where it is. Its purpose is to remind everyone not to take plant specimens home under any circumstances, including seemingly harmless ones. Flowers from the labs may have built-in genetic traits that will have a negative effect on your quality of life. If it's grown in a lab, it stays in a lab. Period. Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous PEC-4 power generator? Indeed it is. The birch tree PEC-4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. Fucking tin man! The first man. step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. Run 
in the wall. Can you hear them scurrying around? I'm scared. I'm really scared of them. Scared of what? The robots? No! Robots kill quickly and simply, but they... His lingering polymer memory is exhausted, Comrade Major. Got it. People here are getting killed by stuff other than robots. But what? I cannot ascertain. But I'd be lying if I said we'll never find out. Understood. than your bosses? No, you're twisting my words, Doc. I never said I was smarter than them. But you said... No, I said that if I had the same opportunities and resources they do, I'd accomplish just as much as they have, if not more. Do you envy people like Sechenov, Lebedev, Filomonenko? <laughs> envy isn't really the right word. Envy is when you want what someone else has. I don't want what anyone else has. I want to be right there with them. I want to be their equal. And I'm not talking about their discretionary authority. I want us all to be genuinely equal. But that's enough. We've talked about this a hundred times, and you still don't believe me. This is a waste of time. Guard, we're done here. Sure.
It's a good thing the pipe's opening's in the next room, and not over by the birch tree. came up with all this shit. I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Vavilov complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available. Have you found Dr. Filatova yet? The one who helped Petrov butcher hundreds of people? No. She's still crawling around somewhere. I emphasize that Dr. Filatova must not be hurt. If her life is threatened, you must come to her defense. What? Rescue the bitch whose fault it is I'm wading knee-deep in gore? What the fuck? Traitor Petrov used Dr. Filatova without her knowledge. She had no inkling of his true intentions. I mean, the viciousness of his homicidal maniac. Her guilt must be established by a court of law. <laughs> Too good for her. She deserves no less. Dr. Filatova is a renowned neural surgeon. Dr. Sechenov entrusted her with a collective research that connected both humans and robots. She must not be hurt. Did I make myself clear, Comrade Major? I'll keep it in mind.
What's the hot workshop used for? Heat-resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat-resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticae cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform Mars. Canisters fill automatically once the temperature is normalized. What's that supposed to mean? It's hot. Yeah. Everything here seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something fucked up happens. about Petrov's girlfriend, Charles. Are you referring to Dr. Filatova? That's what I said. Did the cat get your tongue? Do you know her? Dr. Larissa Filatova, MD, has worked with Dr. Sechenov for many years. He entrusted her with one of the most crucial aspects of Collective 2.0, with good reason. She replaced the late Chariton Zaharov in that role. Who's Zaharov? A tenured professor of medical science, an esteemed neurosurgeon, and one of the scientists who vanquished the Brown Plague, Chariton Radionovich Zaharov, was also Dr. Sechenov's closest friend and trusted colleague. They laid the foundation for Facility 3826 together. Great, whatever. So what about Filatova? She's a talented neurosurgeon and was Comrade Zaharov's student and assistant. She continued the professor's work after he died. But she is now a criminal and a traitor to the motherland. Understood. It's too bad. She's kind of cute. But she's the true mother. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Look at her bloom. What a beauty. Photosynthesis has begun. The tree's condition is improving rapidly. Yeah. Attention. Distribution center employees. Access to the right wing of the complex is now available. Where? Oh, right. How are you coming?
What's this crap? That is a sprout. What's a sprout? Sprouts were designed as highly efficient feed for large livestock. But there's something wrong with this sprout. A killer chicken. Now I've seen it all. Attracting their attention is not advised. Too late. Not the rescue team, more like a vanguard. Well, I'll be damned. Plenty of time has passed, but there's still no alarm. No army coming to the rescue. Did you see how all this got started? Can you tell me about it? I don't want to, but I certainly can. The machines didn't attack right away. They sort of spread throughout the facility at first, so they could attack all at once. I suspected something was off the moment the lab tech robots all went into our offices and positioned themselves behind people's backs. Most of my colleagues died right at their workstations. What scared me most wasn't the killing, but the way they slowly walked towards the humans. It was kind of like gym class, when they tell you to split up into pairs. How long ago did you die? I don't remember, but I stayed alive longer than most. The machines couldn't get to where I was, since there was no way in. There was shooting, and then hoses started coming out of everywhere. Most people died in the first couple of seconds. Very quickly. The robots either smashed their heads in or snapped their necks, like popping the caps off soda bottles. We took to our heels, but then a lab tech grabbed comrade Afanasiev. There was a soldier around who tried to stop them, but he just had time to say, Oh, that's where I sort of stopped being scared and charged the robot. The last thing I remember is being dead. Um, I'm sorry. We're gonna take those motherfuckers down. You can't blame the machines. Humans did this. Doesn't look like an accident to me. It'd take months to plan something like this. Okay. They'll send someone for you once this is all over. Frankly, it won't make much difference to me. Better make sure this contagion or whatever's wrong with the robots doesn't spread to the other complexes. Cold. What's with this place? Its purpose is to study how living things can survive in a vacuum. So it's for planting crops on the moon and stuff? Among other things, yes. The research conducted here applies to a wide range of subjects, from primitive single-cell plant life to livestock and other animals.
goddamn clusterfuck. Greetings, Valentin Demyanovich. Who? Me? The computer mistook you for the head of this laboratory. Reminder, it is time for you to take your blood pressure medication. Playing an excerpt from an automated recording of your last work shift. I just kill all of them. It's standard to the manufacturing process. It's where the polymer's organic components come from. Where'd they all go then? To the algae workshop. To undergo polymeric synthesis. I don't even want to know.
What will it be, Major? Weapons or ability? It's too bad how it all ended up. No one ever thought something like this would happen. It was always going to the stars. The bright future that awaits us. Now all I can do is lie here and think about it all. How long ago did the robots attack? To be honest, I haven't been very good at keeping track of time. But it must have been quite a while ago. At least a few days. How did you end up in the corridor? I was the first one they did in. Lab Tech 42 did it. I went to get some coffee, and it grabbed me by the neck and snapped it right here. Can you tell me anything? How did this all get started? It was quick, unexpected, and very bloody. You're lucky, you know. There are only a few robots here now. The first day, the place was swarming with them. Every corridor had someone screaming, or dying, or both. And where did the robots go? How should I know? All over the facility, I guess. I assume they went through those tunnels. A few of them got stopped or taken out. And I guess the rest are probably still out there, waiting for you. You seem pretty calm about this. Why shouldn't I be? I had my fill of screaming when it all went down. 
I freaked out, swore, saw terrified, dying people. Funny thing is, what scared them most wasn't the robots that were butchering them. It was seeing me dead and talking. But why do you think that is? Because it's a damn scary thing to be talking to a dead man. I mean, why I'm talking? I have no idea. I'm not even sure I'm happy about it. It doesn't matter anyway. Well, I gotta run. All right, see you. It's huge. I've never seen so many planners in one place before. This is where they grow the plants that will be used to terraform the Moon, Mars, and Venus. But right now, it's not working for shit. We need to find the control panel. Shit. Nothing but dead bodies. There's a power activation laser relay on the wall. Okay, I can deal with that. But I will never get used to this shit. Will it be major? Weapons or... There we go. So how do I fill the canister? The canister fills with cryopolymer automatically. We just need to wait. That sounds a little too easy. Looks like we've got company. I knew there was no way we could just wait patiently for this thing. Why the fuck didn't you tell me that before? Shit, the fan turned off. Try using shop to restart it. You see now?
Please select the desired procedure. I sure love these goddamn canisters of yours. You guys never get sick of shoving them into things. Well, it's a tradition. Yeah, well, maybe you should think about reevaluating your traditions. If I see one more canister.
say. Finally. Data saved. Attention employees. Access to the pesticide workshop is now available. Auto clear. Please hand over all I sure love these goddamn canisters of yours. You guys never get sick of shoving them into things. Well, it's a tradition. Yeah, well, maybe you should think about reevaluating your traditions. If I see one more canister. Did you hear that? I hear everything you hear, Major. So, what do you think? Crispy critters. Quiet, damn it! There's something dangerous up ahead. And that's my fucking line. Indeed. But we still need to get that canister of pesticide polymer. canister of pesticide polymer. There's a canister right there inside. You have to find a PA 400 polymer container. We blow the fucker to kingdom come, then you can take whatever you want, okay? Fine, have it your way. But won't the canister be destroyed? <sighs> Shit! The pump! The hemlock needs to be sprayed constantly. We're almost out of PA 400. You need to find that polymer container right now! Yeah, right, a container. Could you at least tell me what it looks like? It's a yellow kind of, uh, kind of cylinder? Find that yellow cylinder or we're screwed! Where do I find that yellow cylinder? It's a polymer container, Major. They're always yellow. It shouldn't be hard to find.
This is the yellow cylinder we're looking for? Are you shitting me? There uh, should be a smaller one around here somewhere. <sighs> sure fucking hope so. There's nothing else here. Whatever. I'll just bring the whole goddamn tank back. It ought to be enough for that fucking freak show. Indeed. being sprayed with fertilizer, it will wake up. And it'll crush the living fuck out of everything here, including us.
Another poor bastard. Picked the wrong hiding place. Quiet! There's a mutant nearby. You won't find us here. We should be safe. The lights went out. The only light that went out was yours, buddy. For good. So I'm dead? I have to admit, the thought had crossed my mind. You weren't wrong. See ya. Hey, Charles, if I get killed, will I turn into a talking dead too? Will I just lay there in a corner mumbling half-intelligible bullshit? It's hard to say. On the one hand, you don't have any neuropolymer memory. On the other, your body has undergone a high degree of polymerization. Damn it.
We need to hurry. Crispy critters. I'm trying. Situation is critical. Where's that guy with the pump? Did he quit or something? Log number two, April 19th. I've been studying the hemlock particles under a microscope. We're all going to die! Okay with me. You first. And become dominant. Endocytosis has been shot. Shoot. Reduced. This well. It explains how the plan needs itself. What are you eating this time? Schnitzel! Drop it! Bad dog! Anyway. What the fuck is taking you so long? Choke on your pesticides, fuck bag. That's it. Smoke break. 
did you find the container? I'm out of PA-400. We don't figure out something soon, we're toast. Take it easy, pal. I found it. Look down there. There's your container. You got any idea what it took to get it here? Shit! Not like that. That won't kill it. You were supposed to blow it up. Damn it. What do we do now? It's awake. We gotta ignite the polymer. Give me your cigarette. You can ignite polymer with a cigarette? This one? Yeah. Die, you prick! Holy fuck, it's going ape shit! It's in range! We gotta run before it... Hang on! God damn it! Oh fuck! My leg! You okay, buddy? Yeah, we did it! Shit, Sprouts, get the fuck up! My leg is stuck. Shoot it already! There's too many of them! Hurry! I'm trying! If they get to us, Have you we're dead! About aiming better? They're almost oh, here! Get up! Oh. Get up! I'm trying! I'm trying! No. Fuck! No! Help me! Get it off me! Hang on, buddy. Ah. I'm coming. Oh, shit. The fucking canister. Well, it's something. He's mutated! No shit, Sherlock. Crispy crap! Get the fuck off me! Holy shit, that was insane. You guys seriously got nothing better to do in these labs than make giant killer shrubs? The path to scientific achievement is fraught with pitfalls. The only way to avoid making mistakes is to do nothing. Uh-huh. Just like me and Petrov. Access granted. I want to see where it's going to start now. I think at like the final boss, it all fades, right? The Unreal Engine crashed. Uh, holy shit. Wow. Okay, let's, let's just continue. Let's just, let's just ignore it. It's simple. You get it every time.
insane. You guys seriously got nothing better to do in these labs than make giant killer shrubs? The path to scientific achievement is fraught with pitfalls. The only way to avoid making mistakes is to do nothing. Uh-huh. Just like me and Petrov. Please select the desired procedure. to monkey around with the birch tree like this all the time, did they? Indeed. The birch tree is first and foremost a symbol, although it does require a certain amount of careful tending every two days. So every other day you gotta run around collecting four different canisters? Oh, what a pain in the ass. attack be honest well I gotta run all right see you pesticide polymer canister connected I hate all parasites human or otherwise at least the tree can breathe easy now. The pests have been eliminated, and the birch tree has returned to normal. Cryopolymer canister connected. Great. The birch tree's thawing out. Optimal temperature has been restored. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The peg for birch tree vegetative power generator is now... 
We did it, Comrade Major. Slow your roll, Glove. I did it. I provided moral support. Yeah, whatever. I guess you helped a little. How are you feeling? That question doesn't really apply to me, but thank you for your concern. I am fine. Are we ready to leave now? Yeah, sure. I'm not exactly itching to stick around. Done. The gate is open. We can leave the Vavilov complex now. Fucking finally. If I ever see another goddamn canister, it'll be too soon. Charles, how did Cheriton Zaharov die? Under mysterious circumstances. Dr. Sechenov is the only one who knows the details of his demise. Mysterious circumstances, huh? Dr. Sechenov really didn't tell anybody what happened? He did. The story is that Professor Zaharov slipped and fell into a lab bath full of a hazardous experimental neuropolymer. Ah, oh, shit. Poor bastard. What's so mysterious about that? Some people are puzzled by certain aspects of the story. Like what? Due to a bizarre concatenation of circumstances, no footage of this fateful moment was ever recovered, even though the labs are always monitored. Well, shit happens, right? Sometimes cameras break, or data doesn't get recorded. That is entirely possible. Another peculiarity is that the polymer in question isn't hazardous at all. There's no way it could kill someone. You yourself love to swim in it. Oh, okay. But maybe that polymer was a unique experimental sample or something. Like... A dangerous strain. That is also entirely possible. But wouldn't Professor Zaharov have known that the experimental sample he was working with was dangerous? He created it himself, after all, along with Dr. Sechenov. This is seriously messed up. No, this is really just the Black Mesa team. Black Mesa science team. It's all messed up. We need to go to Lesnaya Station and take the train to Solnitsnaya. We will continue on foot from there. And where are we supposed to find this station? It's on the other side of the village we're now in. Let's go. Yeah. Let's Access go. granted. Chillas, what are they doing? They're repairing broken robots. The more chillas there are, the sooner the damaged unit will be fixed. They're not currently dangerous. You can keep going. Just ignore them. I think I'll wait. One of them has a camera. I'd rather not have it see me. There are cameras everywhere. Where do they send the stuff they see? Information from the security cameras is sent directly to the airborne robot control hub known as the Hawk. Right. So, what will the Hawk do if I end up on camera? If you're detected, the Hawk will sound a level one alarm and all nearby robots will converge on your current location. If a camera sees you attacking a robot, a level two alarm will be activated and the Hawk will deploy additional forces. 
I hear them. I hear them. Where are they at? How do I know the current alert level? Your polymer retina is equipped with an alert <laughs> indicator. Which other facility? Be careful. The enemy is on high alert. Where do they keep coming from? A bumblebee robot is delivering them from a nearby factory. Damn it. The gate's been locked by the security system. We need to gain access. The only way to do this is by connecting to the security cameras. Unfortunately, I lack that ability. There's a special camera diagnostic system, CDS-2 Valon. I can use one to connect to the cameras. That system might come in handy for stuff other than diagnostics. Hopefully there's one around here somewhere. According to available data, a device with that designation can be found in this village. Detecting its signal. Use the scanner to triangulate its coordinates. Okay, so just don't mess with that, those guys. I will probably end it right here. Oh, honey, I'm so happy. Have you come to get rid of that stupid glove? Some other time. In fact, I came to have it upgraded. Why upgrade that junk? Give it to me, and I'll give you the time of your life. Shut up! I need it myself. Get on with it, you crazy bitch. Yes, yes! Dirty to me. Okay. I love it when you play hard to get. Oh, it really turns me on. I've had enough of this shit. Oh, you're so eager, big boy. I'm upgrading your sweet little glove and its cute ticklers. Does this please my master? That's better. Thank you. You make me more rude if you just talk dirty.
HARAPAN